Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of LEGO Worlds. I'm Dark Helmet Cat 67 This is Mike. Mike is dressed up as a bat. Say hi. Mike says hi. <laughs> so as you remember last time in the last episode of building Spaceball City, we started to build Monster Town. And and we started off by, and we used the the monster plates, and we started to build a couple of monster builds. And I even copied some of the the haunted houses from the biome, and other things too. That way we can use them in our monster town. I think this one. This haunted house, this is somewhat similar to the showcase build, but the only difference is that it's red. So you have a red version of this haunted house, and I believe this is also another haunted house also from the showcase, Monster D Monsters DLC. Yeah, this is also like a showcase model. But only now it's purple. So now you have a purple version of this haunted house. And in this episode, we are gonna we're gonna build more of this monster town. So let's pull out our our free build tool and let's and let's find something else to build. Something else that's monster related. Like, um. Oh, yes, the monster bat stage. Let's find a spot for that. Where should we put it? We need a good spot for this. Ooh. Does not fit here. Um, where should we put this? I'm thinking it should go somewhere. Yeah, you know, let's put it right there. Yeah, this looks like a good spot for it. And we're going to place it. There we have it. The monster bat. The monster bat stage. And we're. Now we need to get to that. Um, the little studio hut. Where's that? Where's that studio hut that I copied? Where are you? There it is. Monster Studio Hut. And I want it to be perfectly centered. And we're going to place the Studio Hut. Right about here. Oh, and then... And then what we can do is we're going to copy copy a portion of this. That way we can just build it across and connect it to the stage. I could build it using the build tool, but but hey, I thought it would co I would copy it so that way I can save some time. Remember what they say, copying is not cheating, it's just saving time. That's true sometimes, in some particular cases. But if you... Excuse me. If you copy off another student's answer in school, that's not saving time. That is actually cheating. And if you were doing that in school, you would get sent to the principal's office. 
So, so do not cheat off another student's test answer. Yeah. Or else you will get in trouble. So anyway, um, we are gonna... Let's finish up these... The roads. And... So we're gonna use the monster... Oh, that one's crooked. I didn't put that one in correct. Now it's correct. Now we can switch to the curve. Place it there. Switch back to the straight. It's kind of hard to see because of the studs on the on the plate. On the monster road plate. Okay, now we need a T-junction, which way is it? is it, yeah, it's that way. And it's already nighttime. We'll spin the sky. As soon as we get all our monster rope plates in. There we go. Alright, let's spin the sky, Mike. Make it daytime. Okay. So now we... We connected the roads. That way they go in a continuous circuit. Just like how they do in the the creator town or the monster town. So, you see the cars driving in a continuous loop around the town on the road plates. So, alright, so we got this bat stage in. Let's place down another monster build. The Monster Festival Huts. Where should we... Where do we put those? Where do we even put those? How about... Excuse me. How about we put them... How about we put the Festival Huts... Right... Right about here. A little bit closer to the to the the stage because that's a monster festival let's place down another of these jack-o-lanterns maybe we'll place one maybe one will go Maybe that one goes right here. Yeah. Maybe we'll place another one right here. I don't want to go too far back cuz I don't want to I don't want to cut into the wall. Yeah, let's place another scary jack-o-lantern right in this corner. Let's see what other what other monster things I I copied over from the biome or any of the the monster builds from the game. Let's see which one did we use last time? Which builds did we put down? Um Monster Chapel? 
I don't think we used that one. The monster graveyard? Did we use that one? Let's see. I think we used that one. Yeah, we used that one. We used the monster graveyard. And I'm pretty sure we used the garden. The monster garden. Yeah, we used that one. How about this one? The monster... Monster Mausoleum. Whatever. I think I said it right. So. Let's place that one. Maybe that one will go... Maybe this one will go... Um... Maybe in this corner. In the opposite corner. Let's let it face that way. All right. There we go. So that's that. And now let's get the um the monster chapel. Let's place that one. How about we place it right over here? Okay, so that's the chapel. What other monster builds do we have? Hmm. Where are my other monster builds? We can use some of the same ones, like, like maybe this plaza thing and that jack-o'-lantern, but the bat stage, we're only going to use that one once. And of course we have the props too, some monster props. Oh, the haunted houses. Let's place them like some of the... The actual haunted houses that came with the game. Where are they? These. The, these three. Haunted houses. But only now they're not colored. place this house right here let's take this second house let's place that one right here and let's take this third house and place that house right here. Oh. Is that the same one? Is that the same as the other one? Oh. Okay then. I thought I didn't have that one, but apparently I did. 
Apparently, I have two copies of it now. That's okay. I'll just delete one of them. Anyway, um... Now... Now let's find some other things to put. Maybe that cemetery? Hmm, that looks scary. Let's put a cemetery down. Yeah, a graveyard. Let's place down let's place the cemetery right around on this side. How about here? This looks like a good spot for it. Oh yeah, a lot of gravestones and ooh. Too bad, too bad I could not copy the giant monster moon from the biome. It would be so cool if I was if I was able to copy the the monster moon. But don't worry. We'll make our own. We'll make our own. Don't worry. We'll make it somewhat similar to the one from the biome. Hmm. I think we used every every monster build. We 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 got these spooky trees right here, but I want to place down like another I want to place down another monster brick build. Well, it may be another jack-o'-lantern. Cuz he's watching you. That pumpkin is scary looking pumpkin. And maybe this one will go. How about here? Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. We can actually convert some existing brick builds so that way they look scary. Let's use this monster plaza again. What? Uh oh. Oh, it wasn't facing the right way, so... Well, now it is. And this one will... F will be right here. Alright, so now we have three little monster plazas. Hey, that's not a bad idea. How many people can at least hang out at... Hang out. You know, we need to... We need to build a pumpkin patch. We need to find a good spot to put a pumpkin patch. Like, put, like, actual pumpkins. Maybe somewhere outside of the park, or maybe inside the park? Yeah. Uh, let me show you guys where I was thinking about putting the pumpkin patch. I'm thinking of putting the pumpkin patch somewhere in this corner. Like we have all this grass here within the wall. Or even better, in this square. This square would be perfect for a pumpkin patch. I think I think we'll do it. I think we'll put some pumpkins there. Build a pumpkin patch so that people can pick out some pumpkins and you know carve them, make jack-o'-lanterns and either make them happy or scary. But I think jack-o'-lanterns are meant to look scary. Scary on Halloween. Halloween Horror Nights.
Remember, like I said, this kind of reminds me of Scooby-Doo. You know, the cartoon Scooby-Doo? That's such a good show. And we played um, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. If you check out any of those videos, any of my videos where I do Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, Yeah. What else? What else can we build here? Um. Obviously, we have these spooky trees here. So let's place down some of these spooky trees. And whenever I'm placing down, like, multiple trees, I like to rotate them so that way, um... So that way, they're not as repetitive. Like, they're not... Like, all the trees are not facing in the same direction. Okay, so... Let's take the second spooky tree. Place down some of those. And let's rotate each... Oh. Is that one touching? We don't want it to be touching. <laughs> I don't want any of the trees to be touching each other. So... Let's place a tree right here. Maybe another one right here. Now let's take the third tree. Ooh, that one's big. That one's a big tree. Let's put that one right here. That one's too close to the house. Oh, when it's rotated like that, it's perfect. Let's place this tree right here. And then we'll make, we'll make like a, a giant a giant white glow ball and that's gonna be like the monster moon the big scary monster moon just like that the one that you see that you would see in the biome the monster town biome yeah um if you watch designer slash gamers video of where he builds his monster his monster town in his Bricksburg. He kind of pretty much did the same thing. There was a haunted house right here? Oh, we already have a couple of haunted houses, but... I'm... I'm pretty much all set as far as the monster builds. And we're going to place down some props. We're going to place props, too. Like spooky props. Like pumpkins. Plants. Well, not, not regular plants. Different kinds of plants. Like... Like... The burned plants. You know, the... The black ones... You know those black flowers that you would f that you would find in the was it the prehistoric biome where the volcanoes are? Let's see what we have for trees here. 
Oh, we have these dead trees right here. Those could fit. Those could fit perfectly. Let's place down a few of these. Alright. Maybe, um, maybe another spooky tree. Not the, not the really big one, but maybe, maybe this one. I oh, see so you get three different spooky trees, but I think these are all different sizes. The first one is, uh, spooky tree one is small, spooky tree two is medium sized, and the third spooky tree is large. I see. Ooh. How about we place down um, another of another of these statues? The fly, the fly statues. That could look pretty cool. Let's place down a few of those around around our monster town. Maybe another spot. Not here, because it's going to take up that space. It'll cut into the wall, and we don't want that. Maybe another one right here. And let's place on one more of these. Maybe the last one will go maybe right over here. Yeah, I like it. And of course we will build our pumpkin patch. So let's see what kind of spooky props we have. Monster Festival banner. Ooh, the monster bike rack. Hmm. I mean you I mean there are those bike racks right here. In the plaza. Ooh, how about that green fountain, that green water fountain? That could look cool. A slime green fountain. How about right here? Excuse me. Um... Uh, monster recycle bin. Ooh. I mean, these monster plates are not meant for for cars to drive around. I mean, we can place them on there, on the plates, because no cars will be driving there. So we can place down a few of these pumpkin recycle bins. Yeah, those recycle bins, the monster ones, they kind of do look like um, uh, pumpkins. They are in the shape of a pumpkin. So that's pretty cool. I love... I love how there's variations of something. Like that monster wheelie bin. Even the monster trash bin. Even the mailbox. Ooh, let's place down this monster festival booth. See, where would we put that? I think let's put it somewhere near. That should go somewhere nearby the festival. Because we have these festival huts. I think that's the perfect spot to put it. The monster festival booth. 
Yeah, it looks that looks like a good spot. Ooh, how about these festival banners? That could look neat. How about we put them? Let's put these barriers like on the row plate. Do we have a? Is there a difference? Oh, I see. They're, oh, they are different banners. One banner shows pumpkins, and the other one shows skeletons. I see. So let's place down the festival banner with the skeletons. And now let's place down the one with the pumpkins on. Right here. Kind of cool. Ooh, how about this monster festival sign? Let's place it right here. Monster fest. Ooh, the lamppost. The monster lamppost. Place down a few of these. So that way we get some light here. That way it's not dark. It can look really cool at night. It can totally light up this place at night. Alright, anyway, um, before we do anything else with the props, spin the sky, let's get back to the lamps and continue placing down these lampposts all around Monster Town to provide instant light at night. I think there are different types of these monster lamps. You have the monster torch. Um, what other lights do you have? Oh, this upright light. But, but these are more like tall, so let's use those. I mean, you do get a bit of light from the the jack-o'-lantern. So, let's place down two of these over here. Another one here. Another one there. I want to guess this episode's probably going to be like, I don't know, maybe another while or so. Because I want to get Monster Town done today. Now we're just doing some adding props, like lamps, so that way it can provide light at night. Whenever people are hanging out in the park in Monster Town, they can get some light. That's always f cool. can put this one right here. And let's place one here. 
one over there. Skip that because that's light from the jack-o'-lantern. There we go. There we go. And uh we'll get to the uh we'll get to the part where we're where we build the giant moon. Where we make our own monster moon. Just like in the biome. We'll go place a light here. Maybe another one right around here. Oh, I like I like these lamp posts. I like these lights because it has a bat detail on it. I love it when there's details on a prop, like the bat. All right. Let's place down another lamp right over here. I think we're almost done with the, almost there with the lights. There we go. Place one there. And I think we have this stretch left. Wow, we're getting a lot done today in this episode. I know this is kind of boring. I mean, because you love to see me build. Building is fun. I love building stuff too. But don't worry, I think we are... Let's leave some space so that way you can get into the monster festival. And let's put some lights right here, right there. Turn this thing around. Place one there. Place one there. And we got lights all around. Now our whole monster town, now all of our monster plates have lamps on them. That way, that way it looks pretty cool at night. That way it lights up the park when it gets dark outside. And that way people can see where they're going. Okay. We got our lamps taken care of. Who that monster satellite dish? Oh, we need to put a monster playground. We need to do that. You know, with the monster monster swing set and the slide, we need to use that. Let's find a spot to put these. Hmm. I. Um, 
Let's not put the swing set there because people are going to hit the wall. So that's that's a no-go. Uh, maybe we place the the swing. I f Hey. Why don't we remove a few of these trees? Yeah, let's do that. Let's remove some of the trees. Let's go down really slowly so that we hit the ground plane. Maybe we'll remove j these these two trees. Yeah. Wanna just let's just do that. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the tops. And let's drop down here. Yeah, and let's build our monster playground with the swing set. How many swings should we have? Let's just play. Let's place them down like this. Let's see how many swings did we have? I think that's five. Seven swings. Yeah, let's do seven swings. Let's get that monster slide. There we go. And now this little monster ride. That kind of looks like a bat. Let's place down two of them. And I think that's all we have for the playground equipment. But we need to put, like, we need to do, like, slime or something. We should put slime somewhere. Like, these three different colors. Green, purple, and orange. The slime. We'll find, we'll find a spot to put that. Why don't we go ahead and place down and let's make the the giant monster boon. And And let's use, let's put it inside of something. Do we have something like the skeleton brick build? Or skull brick build? Or we could just plop in the the ball. Miscellaneous. Dinosaur skeleton. Monsters. Showcase. Now let's just place down the 
the ball. Alright, so we're going to do the... We're going to use the... Where is it? White glow. And we're going to change the shape to a sphere. And we're going to place down this moon. Right in the middle. Whoa. Looks kind of scary, huh? And let's use a brick. And we're going to do um, a black. We're going to place down a black brick inside the inside him and we're gonna make him scary let's make like a scary mouth I'm not sure how you would make that How about we do it like this? How about his mouth is like wide open? How about with the, the mouth is wide open? I don't know. I'm not sure. There's got to be at least a, a brick build that we could use. Snowman? The is there like a skeleton? Like a skull or something? I thought there was one. Is that in the... Br is that in the game? Right, maybe I'll find it off camera. Maybe I'll search for it off camera. And then if there is one, then I'll put the moon. Then I would put the Then that could be cool for the monster moon. Or we maybe we use that pumpkin. Maybe we use the pumpkin as the moon. Why don't we do that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and delete. I mean, of course we would. We'll modify it. We'll modify the... The jack-o'-lantern. So that way it's not because that that one does have a scary face on there. Let's see where are you? Jack o' lantern, jack o' lantern. Here it is, jack o' lantern. Yeah. Oh, it's it's almost morning time there. Let's change this back to cube, and let's remove the stem. Yeah, because we don't want it to look like a pumpkin. We don't want this to look like a pumpkin. Am 
mean, I could I could just paint over this. Now I can't use the replace tool because it's gonna change all the blocks. It'll change all the bricks to square. Let's do light stone gray. And let's paint over this. I'm going to be careful not to paint, not to paint the inside. I'm going to try to be careful not to paint the inside. The inside we can use the replace tool because they're all square bricks. How many minutes in the video? 52 minutes. So we're going to have to pretty soon wrap up. I don't want this video to go too, too far along. I think it's good for that. Let's get the replace tool and replace the fluorescent reddish orange with white glow. Make this the biggest size, and then just do it. It doesn't look like a moon. I may change this later, but I wanted to keep it like this for now. Maybe... Alright, let's place down, like, flowers or something. Not regular flowers, like... Different kinds. These, the charred plants. Those look those would look cool. Let's place down a few of those. The rest I may do off camera and maybe um and then maybe like maybe like Maybe I'll tour you guys the monster town. Maybe I'll finish this off camera and then maybe like um maybe like the day before Halloween or on Halloween day I can tour you guys the monster town. That way you can see, you know, what was kept the same and what I changed. But I think Because I don't want this video to be going too far along because it's almost an hour. I've been recording this for an hour, so I think it's time for me to... I think it's time to conclude this episode right here. But hey, we got a lot done today. Didn't we, Mike? Because Mike needs a rest now. But we did indeed get a lot done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave a comment and smash that like button if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next episode where I'll 
Toriyu this monster park. See you then. Bye bye. Say bye, Mike. Take care.